Hey guys, this is Luis from the Potastic Four talking to y'all. I just wanted to apologize um, ahead of time and let you know that for the first part of this podcast, um, we were experiencing some technical issues. That's on me, 100%. Um, excuse me, my Wi-Fi was a little bit spotty. Um, but I did get it fixed come the second half of the podcast, so you will notice an, uh, uh, an obvious uh, difference in the quality of audio. Um, but unfortunately, the first part does have a little bit of, of uh, there's a little bit of jankiness to it, so I just want to apologize. Um, let you guys know it won't happen again, um, and it was a thousand percent on me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys um, still enjoy the episode. I want to thank you for all the love and support, and um, yeah, I just apologize uh, for for uh, the little, the little mishap. What is up, Podvengers? And welcome back to another episode of the Podtastic Four, a talk show by the fans for the fans. This is a nerd culture podcast where we talk about everything Marvel, DC, Star Wars, movies, video games, music, and more. You name it, we talk about it. My name is Matt Wahoo, aka the Great Black Sea, and on behalf of everyone here, we'd like to thank you for tuning into another episode of your new favorite podcast. I have here with me Luis, Graham, and Araya, and we are so excited to dive into today's discussion. Today we're going to be talking about the festive Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, the action-packed Andor series, and that crazy finale, and some other updates that we've seen throughout the comic, music, every pop culture facet world. Um, in the spirit of the season, each of us has something from this year in pop culture that we'd like to show that we're thankful for, and we'd like to share with y'all before we get into the discussion. So let's get started. Araya, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for Tales of the Jedi. I am obviously a huge Ahsoka fan. I love Ahsoka. So it was good getting a little more of her backstory as well as Count Dooku's backstory and Yaddle. Like we never really got to see what happened to her. So I think it was a good way to kind of give some background and more nuance to characters that we know and love. And I really hope they come back with more seasons and more episodes about more Jedi. It was a very well executed show and I loved it. I agree. Very good. I love seeing all those different stories play out. Uh, Luis. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to I'm going to go on my film bro shit right now. Um, and <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm thankful for is um, this movie that came out earlier this year. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies uh, of the year. It's called You Won't Be Alone. And essentially, it's just a North Macedonian um, horror drama coming of age drama i'll read to you basically just the low tagline so you understand what's going on in 19th century macedonia a young girl is kidnapped and then transformed into a witch by an ancient spirit curious about life as a human the witch accidentally kills a peasant in the nearby village and then takes her victim shape to live life in her skin her curiosity ignited she continues to wield this horrific power to understand what it means to be human and so um you know, I, I just thought it was a, a beautifully made film. I thought it was shot beautifully, directed beautifully by Goran Stol- Stolvesky. And um, it's it was just, uh, I, it came out of nowhere. I had no idea um, that this movie even existed. I was just kind of like bored one day. I just moved to Dallas and I was like, mm-hmm. hey, I'm going to go to the movies and see what's out. And I saw this and I watched the trailer. And I was like, uh, yeah, let me check it out. Why not? And I was pleasantly surprised and blown away and it's you know one of my top five movies of the year and if you get the chance to watch it i don't know if it's on vod i think it is but definitely watch it it's called you won't yeah it's on uh it's called you won't be alone and um if you're into that kind of stuff it's just it's it's don't let the the plot um or that little uh paragraph that i read kind of uh put you off i promise you it's a beautiful film it's fantastic incredibly well made and uh you won't regret it it's a wonderful experience 
For sure. Dude, I definitely uh definitely gonna add that to my watch list to my queue. Yeah, that sounds kinda wicked. Um it probably has a good, you know, explanation or not explanation, a good outlook on the whole human experience from another angle. So I'll definitely check it out. Um, bear with us. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties today, but we're going to get it together. I promise. We're all doing our best here. Um, new digs, new houses, all that good stuff. Anyways, next we got Graham. What are you thankful for? Multiverse of Madness. A lot of people. Yeah, it's just I knew Louis was going to shake his head. Multiverse of Madness to a lot of people. But uh, no, nah, it was uh, it's it's my favorite phase four movie. Definitely. I love Wakanda forever, but uh you know, seeing John Krasinski in that Reed Richards outfit is I'm very thankful for seeing that come to fruition. You get like concept art, fake fan art like two years ago, hyping up Krasinski, maybe being Reed and then you actually see it. And it was, you know, he got spaghetti later on, which was sick. And seeing Wanda go crazy and actually have her have her like villain moment, which will probably be the only villain moment she'll have. But it was uh, it was pretty sick. And I loved it every second of that so i'm very very thankful that and that sam raimi came back to do it too very thankful that it was sam raimi that did it dude heck yeah that's a good good point um you know after watching it twice i found a better appreciation for it the second time takes a couple watches yeah so i mean yeah it's cool seeing everything going on but there's there's stuff i wanted to see stuff that i saw that i thought could have been better but that's a discussion for another day you know yeah, yeah. Yeah, I um, love having to watch movies multiple times in order to realize it's good. It's my favorite thing. Uh, <laughs> love that. Anywho, <laughs> <laughs> um, for my thing, for what I'm thankful for, I put two things down because I couldn't really decide. I put Top Gun Maverick and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Both of those movies I saw one time, I knew they were good. Um, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, word to Louis. Top Gun Maverick, I saw multiple times. Both these movies I've seen multiple times. They're all good. Um, you know, if you're like 80s films like me, I was born the wrong generation. I love the OG Top Gun. I love Ghostbusters, a lot of stuff like that. So watching Top Gun Maverick really brought me back to another time <laughs> that I was never born and raised in. And obviously Black Panther Wakanda forever. Black Panther is my favorite superhero one of my favorite superheroes and this movie I've been waiting for this movie for so long I felt like it was done right so I'm really thankful for the teams at both Top Gun and Black Panther both both cast crew everybody on that on both projects did so well so many thanks many thanks whenever you finally crew, see this video label. whenever they, whenever they finally see this podcast and see that we're praising them for their work shill checks are welcome please <laughs> <laughs> all right so thank you guys for y'all's um thankfulness uh before we get into the discussion we have a section of the show that we'd like to use to highlight moments in pop culture history stuff that occurred on this date so today is going to be december the 2nd when y'all are watching or listening to this podcast and on december 2nd in pop culture history we got a few today uh, fashion designer Gianni Versace was born in 1946. Actress Lucy Liu was born in 1968. Singer-songwriter Nelly Furtado was born in 1978. Singer-songwriter, dancer, and actress Britney Spears was born in 1981. Singer-songwriter and actress Cassie Steele, who portrayed Manny Santos in Degrassi, was born sure. in 1989. And rapper Gerard A. Higgins, a.k.a. Juice World, was born in 1998. Oh, and then also um, in 1997, a little movie called Good Will Hunting, written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, also starring Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, debuted, debuted in theaters. That's an interesting day in pop culture yeah. history. Um, also today on the 2nd, um, the Christmas thriller Violent Night is released in theaters. Y'all should definitely check it out. I've seen all the, That's gonna be the promo for it. I was looking at it first. I was like, man, they're about to make Santa be a, a, a murderer or whatever, because all these horror stories. Krampus. I'm like, yeah, like, please, please just stop that. And instead, they turn into freaking John Wick. That is incredible. Yeah. I'm yeah. ready for this. I'm going to see it like three, four times. I hope I don't get cold in my, my stockings. But, you know, what was that uh, one movie where it was like the drunk Santa? Is it called Drunk Santa? It's with Billy Bad Bob Santa. Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Literally, the first one Bad was Santa. great. Yeah, Bad Santa. The first one was great. I haven't watched yeah. the second one. Wrong Santa. Get a thanks to it. 
But yeah. David Harbour looks like he's going to lose it and saying that it's going to be sick. It's going to be fantastic. Um, we got one last thing before we get into the main event. Um, this is your courtesy warning for spoilers. This is the last episode because we saw Black Panther for Walk On Forever. We get all spoiler alerts. This is your spoiler alert. There will be spoilers for the Guardians of the Galaxy Holly Special and the Andor series from this point on. And if you haven't seen those two things, pause this. Pause this video, pause this spot, this podcast episode on Spotify, Amazon, Good. Apple Music, whatever you're listening to this on. Pause it, go watch those, and come back and join the discussion. You cannot say you weren't warned. Now, without further delay, let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, let's start with Guardians. Uh, yeah. Who wants to start? Let's see, Luis, you want to start with Guardians? Sure. What you liked, what you didn't like. Um, I, th- I think I thought about everything. I think so on and so forth. I thought it was a nice uh, a little bit lagging, breath of man. breath of fresh air. Wait, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we I can guess. hear you. Oh, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just started looking blankly. Oh yeah, I just thought it was a nice uh, breath of fresh air. You know, I think I think Marvel's doing uh, the specials that they've been doing, the special presentations. I think they're two for two. Right, and they're they, yeah. Both of them have been big hits. I don't think they've missed with either one mm-hmm. with Werewolf by Night and Going to the Galaxy Holiday Special. I just I thought it was just man, that's what I love about James Gunn. He's just he just makes fun movies. Fun. Man, it's just a good time. James just, Goat. Yeah, James no, Goat. You James, just you James just Goat. On. What I liked about it was that it was just it was funny. I thought it was really funny. I was laughing, like genuinely chuckling genuinely chuckling the entire time the whole time yeah and uh yeah. i just had a great time i was like oh this is i love spending time with these characters and in this world and everyone just seems to be having a great time making it and i just i i thought it was great i i thought it was great i thought it was too short i wish it would have been an entire uh series or uh two and a half hour uh film you know but uh yeah i had a fantastic time yeah We kind of lost Luis a little bit there, but to, just to summarize, bit. I think I kind of grasped what he was saying because what he said is what I've been feeling too. Um, it would deserve it deserved more screen time. Yeah, I especially made some tracks. Yeah, I love the whole special format and everything, but like some of these specials, the specials are honestly to me they're better than the shows. Absolutely, certain, certain shows are good, but the specials are doing wonders. I cannot wait to see what they do with the rest of these specials. So definitely deserve more time and. It was definitely a breath of fresh air from everything we've been watching in phase four. So, um, Araya, what are your thoughts on Guardians? Um, pretty much the same as Luis. I agree. I really was laughing the entire time. Like, from the time I turned it on until the end, I was, like, giggling and hooting and hollering. Like, it was just so funny. I loved the story behind it and, like, you know, Drax and Mantis and really most of the characters just not understanding what Christmas (laughs) is and but trying to still make it special for Peter and you know of course for Mantis it was something more so that she wanted to do that was heartfelt and kind and Drax was kind of just like along for the ride in typical Drax fashion just you know not really being there to be helpful he's just kind of there to be funny so I loved it I thought it was really great I love Guardians of the Galaxy both movies were great for me so I thought it was really fun and it made me even more excited (laughs) for Guardians 3 so I'm excited to see what happens next I know Guardians 3 is technically like their last kind of it's gonna be so sad yeah I don't know if it's like their last appearance period or just like James Gunn's last movie but i whatever happens i'm really excited for it i think it's gonna it will be, be no um well i've heard it'll their be their last, last lineup full, like this lineup. lineup of this guardians mm-hmm. team and it'll also be james gunn's last um uh, at least for now probably for marvel now. movie or last marvel project <laughs> until and speaking of head little... DC, this man has pl- yeah, he's got, got plans. So we're mm-hmm. ready for that. Uh, Graham, your thoughts on on guard? Uh, she brought up Mantis, and I, I just kind of like had this thought. I did Mantis 
let's just kind of throw in in this special that she's uh, uh, Star Lord's had so before. So Recently it was. Mention it. It, it was very, too, but very, they did. I mean, they did mention Ego was having it a was, whole bunch of kids. Yeah. So it's like plus, right, right, right. You know, right. like it was very, 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 very vaguely hinted at because of the whole he's he's impregnating other species. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. I, I, but I don't I, think I don't I think anybody walked away this from this to be revealed like this in this movie, but. Yeah, but it wasn't like think... some. It wasn't like the biggest thing ever. But yeah. I was just kind of like, oh, well, that's like kind of something that I don't know. Yeah. they just threw in there that was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, uh, it was surprising, but like, mm-hmm. I guess when you they're think gonna about pick it that up in the third one, the they've got to drop, they've got to drop some of that stuff off in the third one, like pick that back yeah. up for sure. Yeah, for but sure. I do yeah. like how that's why she wanted to help Peter with this whole because like he can tell he's just kind of like over Christmas a little bit. And uh, the whole Kevin Bacon thing, I thought was amazing. Kevin Bacon is, <laughs> he was great. He was great. Yeah. And like them not realizing that, you know, they're kidnapping a human. <laughs> <laughs> like once he's like screaming in the box and uh, I kind of forgot that man is Caesar Powers too. And then once he like comes to and Peter's like actually kind of pissed off. I was like, this is this is funny. You know, it, the whole thing. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I was like, that's yeah. hilarious. Okay. I saw, yeah, I see, they were roasting actors and James stuff. Man. I was kind of like, oh, this is kind of. I was, was like, great. this is weird, but uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um. Overall, you know, I think. The music Guardians. was amazing. Oh yeah, dude! That that old first that opening, uh, the old yeah, that, that's, I was trying to think of their name. They're that from Dallas, bro. Opening song was great. They're from Dallas. Like, They're from I Dallas. I know this yeah. band. So whenever I saw, whenever I, I I saw and heard the music, I was like, uh, song uh-huh. sound. I was like, what is that melody? <laughs> so from, I was like, these guys, I know them from somewhere, and my brain just like went through all the bands <laughs> i know which is a lot and um, i was like oh it's got to be like the old 97 or some type of rock yeah band i know from out here and i read the credits i was like wow mm, bam spot on you know what i'm saying i know what i'm talking about i'm the all seeing <laughs> i'm the watcher i'm who to the watcher <laughs> yeah. uh, no that opening song was great oh, wow. and the ending song was funny too but uh the yeah. best part was uh rocket getting um getting bucky's Dude. arm which i kind of hope goes into rocket making a giant mecca in the third one and i don't want to go and we don't we don't have to go to three kind of <laughs> not leak talk but i know yeah. some stuff that's going to happen in three and like it's going to be tragic save it for it, like um, we're it's save that i'm for... kind of glad they made this very happy because yeah say we're going to be we're going to be shedding tears all of three from what i've heard let's save that for a future episode because i think until we'll it do, comes out i think yeah. we'll do a i think we'll do an episode about you know leaks and spoilers or potential spoilers and anything yeah, yeah. that pertains to stuff, stuff that's not released yet you know what i mean um but yeah cosmo I, I too yeah oh, cosmo was, was she was so cute i know part of the whole <laughs> thing was yeah. cosmo could y'all tell that cosmo was entirely cgi because i could not tell until i saw a tweet uh, once, it, once, well, he they... start, once he started moving yes but like i think when really? she was just kind of sitting tell. there i couldn't I, really tell but i think they, we bullied marvel them. enough we bullied marvel enough for them to tell their vfx artists to have like some time and get oh the, no the group looks rough down. Root look, root look. No, but hey, they I showed tried. they showed Lucky the dog from Hawkeye and the dog that played Cosmo, mm-hmm. and it was a real dog. So I mean, obviously they had to use CGI for some stuff, but well, I for the think whole it was suit, like I don't think entirely CGI was it. Uh, I think it so because like... you gotta think of that suit that it's in, like that kind of astronaut suit. Oh, you don't think that was the costume? The no, cosmic. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. It might. I mean, it might be. It looked good. It didn't look bad. Until uh, Rocket was giving her the treats and she uh, started jumping around, that's when it kind of got. A, that's when it looked a little graphic-y, but it wasn't bad. I'm not saying it was bad. I just I don't think it was real. But I did see that picture with the Hawkeye dog. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So I had <laughs> y'all. Uh, there was a Guardians game that came out like last year, maybe or maybe two years 
years ago. And uh, Cosmo was kind of big Russian dude speaking because it's a Russian dog. And for like the last few years, every time I hear Cosmo, I'm like, my name is Cosmo. I'm Russian. Cosmo the dog. And he hear like this just kind of <laughs> girly like, ah, yeah, it was. I like it, though. I thought she sounded great. I'm there ready to see slight, more because Cosmo's a, Cosmo's kind of big. There was a slight Thank accent, you. There was a slight accent in there, too. I, I heard that. Yeah, that definitely was. Mm -hmm. Has to be. Has speaking to be. speaking of space. And space travel that leads us to our next topic. Wow, and what a, <laughs> wow, what a segue! I had to do it. Wow. You knew this was coming, you know. What a full pro. references, you know, full what a of pro. Nice. Have you been doing um, this for a while? Yeah. I was actually practicing in the mirror for like an hour this morning before we started mm -hmm. getting ready for this episode. So, <laughs> yeah, I was ready for this, but yeah, andor man, whoever wants to I'm start because we, this we, this is something that's. That was that was a special special freaking show. Luis, the finale was fantastic. So now we're just going to start it off. <laughs> Why me? I have good uh, things to say, but some rough things. So oh, really go first. Go good. first. I want I want to hear the what you have. No, I I, it's, it's to just say, slow. So it, it's just a little slow. It's just a little slow. And even the finale, I watched it again today, and like it, the finale, it it, uh, it goes. I don't know. It just takes a while. Though I like how it it. it like it builds up that yeah tense, builds up tension like yeah. to where Andor's running and they're marching through the streets and it builds a little tension but ah it, yeah through the whole show it's just kind of, there's that's some cinema parts that baby that got cut like Cyril I I mean I agree like it's my it's one of the it's might be except for Mando season two it's the best Star Wars show that's come out so far I agree I Absolutely I had a hard agree. time getting yeah. into um and or like it, it took me a long time like probably the first like six Four. episodes yeah I was really just not interested I mm. I like I would I would try to watch it and I would pause it and I'd be like dang I have to go back and watch it again but I really wanted to stick through it because I love like Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie and Cassian is one of my I it's love Cassian Mm -hmm. I love his name. I love the character period. So I really wanted to like be there and show up for him. But it was just so hard for me. But finally, once I got to the bank heist episode, or uh, not the bank heist, but like the Imperial base heist, mm -hmm. I guess it was kind of like a bank heist. But anyways, once I got to that scene, I, I or episode, I kind of tuned in more. Like I was more interested, but yeah, it took a while for me. It took to, a while like, to build up to all that too. Like it yeah, was like I mean, once it got season. once it gets hot and stuff, it's you know, it's hot. Yeah. Like that that jailbreak when they Good. broke out the prison. Um Art. one of my favorite episodes in all of Star Wars. Yeah, because I think my yeah, boy that first half Andy. Was in there because my boy Facts. Andy Snow Andy Loki, Andy, Andy might have Creator saved the Snow? show for me personally. That boy yeah. came Snow in show for you guys he, he came uh, in like of, yeah. he came in like kobe in toronto and dropped 81 in that one in those episodes he was in, i was like this guy bro oh my gosh i man, also I, think I, the first really three year. episodes could have been like one episode yeah so, I, agree. I agree definitely I agree, agree. Well, I think, even yeah. two three was a lot mm. Yeah, see, I, yeah. I, I see as the resident andor uh, apologist, you know, um, <laughs> I will, I will, uh, I, I love I, it though. I think, I think y'all's, y'all's points. I mean, I don't think it, it was slow. You know, I think I remember the only mm. time I, I, whenever we first started watching it, the thing that I'd mentioned was the fact that I thought episodes one through three f visually felt kind of weird. I don't know. I, I thought it was maybe the fact that it was actual, the set design just seemed a little wonky to me, but they every weren't time using that, uh, the volume, the volume. yes, I which I think we've all kind of got used to. Uh, yeah, and I know they're practical Wars. sets, and that's great, mm -hmm. and I love that. But I don't know, there's just something I don't know. It felt weird. Every other time after that that we visited Ferrix, I thought was was great. But no, I think I think I, I think mm -hmm. it's it's a fan. I mean, Tony Gilroy, right? It's a great, beautifully written show. The speeches in this show were some of the best dialogue yeah. in star wars yeah luthan's speech when he oh, talked when to that one dude from the um from the um bro the ibs not ibs oh, yes. yeah, yeah, IBS? yeah, yeah. So the, the two Irritable best the syndrome? two best um the two best irritable <laughs> bro it's not ibs is it am i not... yeah it's imperial <laughs> it's imperial bureau of some i forgot dang I forgot. okay that was I the know, ISB. irritated ISB. bowel ISB. system ISB. Yeah. irritable system bowel yeah. <laughs> 
talking to the Imperial like, Security yeah. Bureau. Yeah. 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 Something like, like the that. speeches. You know, those speech. were the two. Those were the two best monologues in the entire like entirety of Star Wars. Luthen mm -hmm. and Andy. Andy Serkis. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, sorry, Andy. I keep saying Andy. Yeah. Kino, uh, Kino Loy. Yeah. That mm -hmm. boy came in and he just dropped bars. Um, when you know, his mom you know, started, Marva's that was speech. She, when she started getting hyped like yeah. about the Empire and stuff, like and name the dropping the Empire, I was like, now thank you, like yes. Fight. That whole scene had me so tense. Like, with I don't know, mm -hmm. something about, like, when they show the Imperial, like, the ISB kind of lining up, and then they show, like, the, the, the citizens the of Barracks and the band coming down. Like, I had yeah. chills. Like, I was like, oh, my God, mm -hmm. this is crazy. Like, that whole last half of the episode, the whole episode Dude, in general they started really getting good, murdered. But... Like, it was rough. It, it was, was pretty, It was I love rough. seeing fascists get beat up. Yeah, yeah, but they they uh they they killed a lot of people in that finale. Yeah, I was like a lot less fascists were murdered than regular innocent people, Orion. <laughs> well, you know, don't worry because it's okay, hey, the movies, fight's on. The fight is yeah, on. Yeah, because in a few yeah. more movies they're about to get blown up. Literally. I'm really what what I am most like just interested about Star Wars um moving forward is like what's Disney and Lucasfilm going to do um well, like with their projects because Andor was like a totally different tone and and pace and um just vibe from the rest of their Star Wars shows or just the rest of their Star Wars properties in general right mm -hmm. and, and critically it's a big hit, huge success people who have seen it love it but not viewer part. wise I exactly. will say that yeah but not viewer wise it's probably their nobody's the viewership is down it's exactly cool. it's awful but but this is what a lot of like Star Wars fans have been longing I, for, right? Is like is like uh, grounded real filmmaking and storytelling set in the Star Wars universe with a character, mm -hmm. you know, have arcs and you know and and stakes and all these kinds of you know. Just and you have people who don't like bricks. <laughs> so I'm curious as to what exactly you know yeah, what gonna, what trajectory no offense, Star but, Wars okay. is gonna go <laughs> moving forward. Are they gonna take like Tony Gilroy and everything he's done and try to implement that in? Ahsoka and and uh, Acolyte and everything moving forward, or they're just going to let each individual uh, creative kind of um, do their own thing with each of their projects. I kind of think, think um, I think I think that I think so be with it. the with the departure of Kathleen Kennedy after um, Indy. Rumor, rumor, the rumor, but the more, rumored Kathleen Kennedy pack that's loading. Confirmed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> with the rumored Kathleen Kennedy pack that's loading, and then also with the various shows that are not set within the the mainline Skywalker saga, you know, story, I think we'll definitely see like what Luis is talking about: a lot of different creatives putting their ideas together, but somehow they're all still going to manage to be connected to some extent. Somehow, some way, you know, because the Star Wars universe is so vast, and there's so many unexplored things that they haven't God, done yet, but we're right going to great. see it. We are going to see it here in a little bit and that's what that's what's so great about you know star wars so it's fantastic um a couple more things before we get to our closing um we saw some updates this week you know we oh, saw wait, the we super Mar no we're not we're, we're moving on uh -oh, we're crap. talking okay. about um super uh -huh. mario bros uh we saw the trailer come out fire enough, it's pretty Fire. Uh, <laughs> Fire. There's there's some new developments for this movie called Cocaine Bear. Like, bro, we're about to watch so many crazy things. The Marvel Mania leaks just or came not out. announcement. The Marvels, the Marvels, um what's it called? The Marvels, I, I guess you can call it a leak. Apparently, Blue yeah, Marvel's leak, gonna yeah. be in the Marvels, which is hurting my soul because I thought I was gonna get cast. Obviously, they found somebody. Congratulations <laughs> to him. You know, I'm proud of him. I don't know who it is. I know who it is. But I'm not gonna say it. Um, I'm proud of who it is. Who is who's gonna be in this movie? Because I want to see a black man succeed. So how yeah, do you how always. do you know who it is? Do you know who it I is? Just, I just know I'm that guy. Like, oh, okay. Oh, I, okay. You were, like, I was like, I was like, <laughs> if you, I you being read legit, it, like for real. So, give me the link. So actually, um, I had my notes written down, and I lost my uh thing in my jig. It's been but, rumored for a long time that he'll be in the Marvels, but I can't remember yeah. uh, who it was. Um, so there's a the movie. rumor. The rumor is that um, Shamir Anderson will play Blue Marvel. That's what I heard. But, Who's that? Shamir Anderson. You know he's no been idea. in. Um, um, let me let me get y'all his his history real quick. But oh, 
Yeah, Shamir okay. Anderson's gonna be. It's rumored to be. I don't know who that is. Um, I remember seeing him. In, he was in. He's gonna be in John Wick. He's in Stowaway, Love Jack, Invasion. He's in. in the, oh, yeah. He's in the so Constantine classics. show. Classic. Yeah, in the Constantine show. Yeah. So he's he's a fairly. He's got his depth. I see it. I see it. I'm excited to see what he does. So, yeah. And then I think that wraps about. That pretty much wraps up everything. That I had written down. You guys, anything else y'all want to talk about before we close out? Quantum Manium's gonna gonna be sick. Don't listen no, to Luis. Not. No, it's yes, not. it's gonna be it's amazing. Gonna, it's gonna fucking suck. I wanted to hear Weeks. what I know. Ryan had another point about um, Andor, Andor that I don't think she got to uh, pop yeah. off. That I was just curious to hear. Oh well, I was just kind of gonna talk about. Um, I had two different things to say, but I guess for time's sake, I'll just stick with one of them. But one of the things I was going to say is that I feel like all the Star Wars shows have kind of like, they've kind of done their own thing, but still found a way to kind of connect to like the larger story. And of course, like Rogue One is a little different because it's like a character from a movie that we've already seen versus like kind of new characters. Um, So I'm interested to see like, Aside from obviously connecting to Rogue One, like, is Andor going to connect to anything else? Like, are they going to try to make it connect to anything else? Or are they just going to kind of leave it as a singular world? I want that so bad. And also, I was just going to say that uh, with Andor, I feel like going back now, I'll be able to, like, appreciate it better as a show. Because with The Bad Batch, I love The Bad Batch, y'all. I love The Bad Batch. But the first time I watched it was rough for me. Like, I tried to watch it and I was like, bruh get to the point but then by the end of the season I was like okay the show's goaded I love it and I'm re-watching it for like the third time right now so I think that like a lot of these shows like we'll probably just kind of have to give it like time to develop but you know we've, we've gotten spoiled with shows that kind of give us like everything all at once so you know that's just something we have to get used to everything like, everywhere all at once I was about exactly. to say that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, quick, quick! Uh, on the awards front, I know most of y'all don't care, but the the Gotham Awards were the Gotham last awards, night, yes. and everything, everything, yes, where sir. all at once won. It won it, didn't prize. it? Yeah. yeah. So hell yeah! And I think it's that, on that, that best on... picture campaign is uh, that agenda has started. The agenda. Very right, yeah, Michelle Michelle Yo is just oh my god, just fantastic. I cannot wait to see what else she does in the coming year or years. Um, speaking of touching on what Araya said, you know, y'all should trust what she says because <laughs> whenever we were talking about um the bad batch, and like mind you, I hadn't watched it all the way through, but she told me it was worth it. And I watched it and we were I she we watched it together. I was hooked and she talked about rebels, and I was like, you know what? You haven't Fire. lied to you. Ain't never lied. So I watch. I'm watching Rebels with it right now. This this is so good. Rebels um, is so I good. I cannot man. wait to see what they in. You know what they do moving forward. I hope um, they include Rebels characters in season two because Andor is taking place like concurrently with Rebels season. Or I'm sorry, Andor is taking place concurrently with Rebels season one. So I hope in season two they kind of start to bring the characters in. Yeah, I agree. Hera I would, would be. be Hera would be no. pretty sick. Because uh, in Rogue One, they uh, mentioned her name and Chopper's when in they it. were, yes, it, yes, when they were leaving, they say Captain Sandula or General Sandula. Um, mm-hmm. I think Rebels is for babies, keep stuff. them away from Andor. Oh, oh shut up, don't baby, uh, anyway. Don't in the anyway. finale, Andor, once no rebel slander will be allowed. In once this Matt podcast. watches uh, the finale of Bad Batch. I'll talk about this a little more. <laughs> I've already seen it. At, oh, no, we oh. finished Bad Batch. Yeah. Okay. Seen, yeah, well, watching that, that mountain re- re-watch. shot at the very yeah. end, whatever, that's Mount Tantis, which leads into like the Thrawn books that me and <clears throat> I were kind of talking about earlier. Oh, don't get I them started think, on these Thrawn books. Um, They'll go off for fucking hours. But I'm yeah. saying Andor oh. season two is obviously going to not be so slow and be picked up and is already like kind of established. What takes place over four years. Deep. Yeah. Which it's yeah, gonna, I yeah. wish it wasn't only two seasons. I agree, but isn't you know, it three? That's no, no, Mm-mm. it's gonna be two's gonna like it. It's gonna lead like whatever that planet that he's on a Rogue One, uh, like the end of season two, he's gonna be like landing on that planet basically. So it's gonna lead like right into Rogue One. 
Uh, Rogue One. I Go. think two season two is gonna be fire. Yeah, yeah I think Star so too. Wars I think movie. it's gonna be really really good. It's, so hey, I watched Star that Wars in movie. IMAX not too long ago. I don't know. If Me I too. Told you about it. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, uh, one of the fuck. best movies I'm so I've jealous ever of you. I Dude, it was it unbelievable. It, it was in like a 400 seat theater too. Yes. It, the screen was huge. It, it was, was the so best good. movie experience I've ever had, and I've watched that motherfucker like a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> The country accent came out. Um, we're going to take a little quick break and then we'll come back with the next part of our episode. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Welcome back to episode two of the Podtastic Four. Um, we're going to pick up where we left off. We we're talking about some updates in the pop culture world. Um, so by the time you're watching this podcast or listening to this podcast, the Brazil Comic Con will have gone on, um, or will have started, gone on. Don't mind me, I can't talk. Um, <laughs> and it's rumored that we will get a trailer for the upcoming Transformers Rise of the Beasts movie. Um, that sounds pretty freaking cool. You know, there's a lot I of mixed feelings on the Transformers franchise after the first movie because everything after that's kind of meh bumblebee except for bumblebee was bumblebee was fire the yeah. g1 stuff in it was that's what i want that's exactly. what i need if this rise of the beast stuff is like g1 series like kind of that show set in the 90s based off i didn't watch that in fucking movies so i don't know what y'all are talking about but i'll take uh, bumblebee bumblebee's what, bumblebee? hard bro no, yeah, bumblebee's, 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 bumblebee's pretty, hard it's pretty good it's better than the last I don't. They all sucked after the second movie. <laughs> they all really kind of suck. I was only excited for it because <laughs> Anthony Ramos is in it, and I was a big fan of him until he cheated on his fiance. <laughs> that's that boy. That's my boy from Hamilton, bro. That's my oh, guy. No, hey, no, that's no, also no. that's also no, the hood from Ironheart. If y'all didn't oh, yeah. already know, oh, y'all know yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, he, I, I don't need that. to get into that. We cheated on his girl, and his career went up. That's Hollywood, baby. What? Hollywood, baby. Boy, blood sacrifice. He cheated, anyway, he cheated yeah. on a beautiful black woman with a. Never mind. Let me stop. <laughs> oh no, nah, he about to get generational curse. Once his time is done, <laughs> man, he's done. It's over with. I already called the answer. I already went to the ancestral plane. That boy is fried. The NAACP <laughs> fried. The ancestral N W. The N. The A in N W A C P stands for ancestral. Ancestral. I was up yeah. there. We were talking. I took the heart shaped herb. I was in there, just you know what I'm saying. And we deal. We dealt. He's dealt with. Um, mm -hmm. Speaking of rumors, <laughs> speaking of trailer rumors, they might have Mando season three. I'm excited about that. I want to see that. I I'm need ready more. for that. Inject it in my veins. My boy wielding the dark saber. He's swinging that thing around. Gotta see my sweet little baby. My the sweet baby little baby Grogu. Grogu. Dark baby Yoda. How funny would it be if if we're talking about all this stuff and none of it comes out? <laughs> that's, that's a great rumor. Hey, rumor. That's a great thing about rumor because you know everybody, it's just a rumor. We're everybody's not, listening rumor. to it. <laughs> everybody's like, listening to it. Yeah, look at, like, look, like, at, look at it like this. We we're talking about this. It came out, and we're right. We're talking about this. It did come out. Okay, it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. They heard it from like, someone stupid. else. I'm not yeah. gonna let you get the chance. I mean, just, yeah. yeah. If we're yeah, right and all this stuff is announced, then we'll take credit for it. And if not, you heard it here first. Why are you listening to four random people on the internet? Don't hear it here don't, first. Who don't know what they're talking about? That's on you. You know, we're just talking. Yeah, just vibe. No thoughts, just vibes. No thoughts, just head empty. Yeah, just. <laughs> um, what else we got on here? So you all know about the rumored um. Tom Holland deal with a Sony Marvel new trilogy. We're gonna get we're gonna get that Spider Man four. It's coming. I need to see my man in the dumps. I need to see this man struggling. He's gonna be getting off up off his feet, getting out the mud. We're gonna see Peter in the trenches. We're gonna see him going through. I guess college. I don't know what he's gonna do. How more in the trenches he's, can you be though? He's he finally he Spider Man college. now. He is yeah, finally, finally Spider Man. Spider -Man. Now. I don't think he'll be in college. He's probably going to be working, right? Like, well, right? he got his GED. Yeah, he'll yeah, probably he he'll GD. probably start working for the Bugle. Mm -hmm. Or we, uh, some I hope kind we see. Of, um, I hope we see the Bugle. I hope we see the kind of thing. Um, J. Jonah Black again. Cat. Yeah, we we're gonna see. That's, I want Black We're gonna Cat. see Black Cat. We're gonna see. Yeah, word oh. to my sis Zendaya, but I really want them to kind of like. Move I need to get away from the MJ and the Gwen stuff. But I want them to bring in like Gwen Stacy and Black Cat as and like silk. potential interests as well. Ooh, the Silk TV show on Amazon. Oh yeah, 
That's yeah. gonna be a little weird. Or was it movie or TV show? It I think was it's one TV of those. series. It's a TV series. One of those. Sure. Sony or Disney Plus? It's, it's on Amazon, Amazon Plus. Amazon Sony Disney M- oh, it came M- out XD already? Plus. I so just need. No, no, it's not out yet. It's it's coming oh, out. It's oh, gonna go. Yeah. All I know out. is I just need that black cat OC. That's all I want. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> so whoever y'all Reese's, cast, whoever y'all cast, wouldn't it uh, just be? Uh, never mind. I, I knew exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Anyways, 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 yes, give me Black Cat just because she's Fine. my comic comic girlfriend, yeah, and I need Luis is Luis is mad horny for the panels, bro. My my boy is Captain Horny Man for the he watches Civil War comics. just for the ass shots. He's reading he's reading <laughs> Civil <laughs> War number wait, was it number two number seven for that one panel. I can neither confirm nor deny these allegations. Ah, please the <laughs> That's all he's here for. But yeah, lying, we're gonna, lying we're on gonna my hopefully, name. We're going to hopefully get that Spider Man 4. I'm excited. We're going to see Black Suit Spider Man. I think we might see Black Suit Spider Man. Uh, African American not... Suit Spider Man. No, 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 no. Matthew, please <laughs> have some tact. Please. <laughs> African American Suit Spider Man. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. We... Yeah, we probably will get uh, black suit Spider Man, right? No, are you, why are you saying Afri- wait? Why are you saying African American suit? Is it because the black suit, <laughs> the symbiote, makes you aggressive? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that is now what I. You saying took, black is bad? You took this somewhere completely different. I wasn't trying to say all that. You think we'll I'm get him kidding. in episode in, in episode four? In no, right? They gotta no, give, we'll we'll get make us wait no. a little bit, right? I think what we're I gonna think get. I think we'll like, get. Um, yeah. You can't, bro. Secret Wars is where he gets the black suit in the original. That's what I'm saying, like. I think, he originally I think gets we'll it. See, I think we'll have like to a, save it for Secret Wars I think because we'll see they an introduction uh, at least, at least a hint at it or some type of. We, are, we did. You know, we we got the symbiote. Yeah. Well, no. Well, maybe it could just be like it connects with Peter, like at the end of. Uh, maybe at know, the like end of this one, or like as a post-credit scene, and then in Secret War he pops uh, up and it's like. Yeah. You know, okay, that would make maybe if they do it at the post-credit scene of four, and then like you have Spider-Man five after Secret Wars. But That's dude's gotta get. To I want him to get. Okay, I want him to get that thing in Secret Wars when they're on Battle World. He's gonna or get that thing. Get who that are you thing. talking about, Graham? What toady. character are you talking Black about, Cat. Graham? Say Black the name of the Spider character. Man. <laughs> Spider Man. Black suit. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. One of these days, we're gonna get merch that says Spider Man. Spider Man. With a cut. With a Spider Man with a cowboy hat on. And it's not gonna be Terrence Howard. It's gonna be me. Me. It's gonna be Graham. Yeah, just <laughs> in a face Spider-Man of Graham costume. No, and a cow- gonna be like you know what? That's your Halloween merch. costume. For no, me. Graham in just a Spider-Man mask. Yes. Nothing else. Absolutely. And hair like coming out the bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so crazy that um, you know, speaking of Tom and Spider-Man, allegedly him and Zendaya got engaged. That's cool. Congratulations. It's a Congratulations. No. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Congratulations. Damn, I'm yeah. jealous of both of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm a hater. I hope it ends terribly. Yeah, and I wish them no. nothing but the worst. For me, who is not I a hater, I have no stakes in this. I do. Luis is actually casually building another Sinister Six to take on Tom yeah. and battle him for Zendaya's yeah. love. I don't think y'all realize. Come through, <laughs> Tom. You That's actually why. Hands? Fight me. That's- that's actually why hey, Zendaya video... is breaking up the happy home between Tom Holland and Nicki Minaj. Like, not enough people are talking about that. Nicki, I'm not that online, Nicki Minaj no is married to on. like a child. Something y'all haven't like... seen like those, what? it's like this internet thing. I don't know where it came from, but people just made this <laughs> thing up about like Tom Holland and Nicki Minaj being a couple. <laughs> so it's like, so they just make jokes like Zendaya stole Nicki Minaj's man and stuff like that. I have to find the memes, y'all. It's so funny. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Tom. But yeah, y'all think that's true? You, I still, I'm still of the belief. I'm a conspiracy theorist, so I'm still, still of the belief that their relationship was just a PR stunt. And any day know. now, we'll find hey, out. Every it's not true. Spider-Man and like romantic lover have dated in real life. Uh, yeah. And it's always ended that, terribly. I saw that they're not engaged, so I don't know. Sources. Right. No, it's, it's a rumor. Cite your sources. Cite yeah, your sources. It's a rumor. Yeah. That's Cite your sources. Oh, the sources, I made it up. Yeah. It came to me in a dream. <laughs> sources, I made it up. <laughs> I felt I felt a disturbance in the force. That's why. So, no, my I saw a tweet about it and they were like, you know, I guess sources do not confirm. Let me see. I'm going to find it, y'all. 
Y'all keep talking. I'm going to find it. <laughs> You're very adamant about finding this. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. And what else? What else was there to... Uh, uh, while, she's, while she's finding that tweet, let's discuss our uh, question of the week. Uh, the best Thanksgiving side dish. So like we said, <clears throat> the holiday just passed. Mm-hmm. We all had turkey, ham, tamales, whatever you name it. I had everything. I ate all types of food. That was unnecessary, Matthew. You I had tamales. tamales. I you really didn't have did. To mention that. Why not? It's I'm good. It's it. delicious. <laughs> Why I can't eat tamales? Bro? No, you can't. You can't. So he's asking <laughs> what Houston, the best. Aren't you? Yeah, you're asking what the <laughs> best side dish is. Best Thanksgiving yeah, so side dish. Yeah, the best side dishes, and we're talking about you know what is it? Stuffing, mac and cheese, yams, sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce. Um, green beans. I've, I've yet you know to meet someone that actually eats cranberry sauce. Uh, you like cranberry sauce? Yeah, that's not my pick. There you go. That's All right, <laughs> so, Matt, you pick. pick you pick cranberry I'm sauce. Shocked, here? bro. Heck no, with stuff. Yeah, yeah cheese I was on that list. Like, and yams, sweet potato, sweet potato casserole. Do, yeah, with the marshmallows on the top. I know y'all. This, if you're listening to this, you can't see me doing the little sprinkle thing. Salt, salt bay. Salt I'm sprinkling marshmallows on top of my sweet potatoes, my yams, bro. Cornbread. I love cornbread. Bro. I like corn casserole. That I, I think that might be my favorite. My mom. A very my family answer. makes like corn casserole. Yeah, it's fire. That's your answer. Corn that. casserole. It's, yeah, yeah, it's fire. Corn casserole. Oh, my family does this thing. We make you guys have had charro beans before, right? You know, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. we make those every holiday, and it's like a side dish because something you eat before like the main course. And that, that mm-hmm. I think that's got to be my my choice because there's just something about charro beans with sausage and some. Ooh, um, yeah, pork okay. in there. Was, yeah. Boy, but you know, you know, mm. ball, bro. You know, ball. Mm, that's not no right ball. There. It's a little bit of jalapenos, mm. you know, jalapenos. <laughs> Jalapenos. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, that's Get him out of here. Yeah. yeah. So charro beans. <laughs> charro beans probably my favorite side dish. And a close second would be I love potato salad. But what? deviled eggs, actually. I, Devil, I forgot, okay. eggs. Devil, I devil forgot eggs. about deviled I'm a, eggs. I'm yeah. a devil, devil devil devil's yeah. advocate for the devil's the yeah. deviled mm-hmm. eggs. Yeah. Deviled eggs go hard. I could yeah. eat a whole thing of just devil, like I could eat just a deviled eggs. Yeah, my stomach hates me after about five, but I'm gonna eat about ten of them. Mm-hmm. Delicious. That accent coming out strong. I heard that. <laughs> What's he talking what about? about? <laughs> I can eat about ten of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm called for. I'm sorry. Oh. I thought we were roasting Damn. Graham's accent. No we, sorry. y'all. Yeah, that's you. I'm sorry, Graham. That's you. That's you. <laughs> what about you, Araya? What's what? your favorite y'all side dish? Sounded country. What's your favorite side dish? Thanksgiving side dish. <clears throat> Araya, she's still looking for that huh, tweet. Me? Yeah, yes, you're, you. you're the only one to not answer. Oh, um, my favorite is stuffing. Uh, or dressing I say dressing but I know some people say stuffing but uh I mean we call yeah. it stuffing up but here. the real the true goat is when you get the trifecta all on one spoon and you get your stuffing and your mac and cheese and your your sweet potatoes all on one big old spoon and you eat it all together with a little hint of cranberry sauce that's the true goat side you lost me on that one chief Nope. <laughs> well, a little bit of on that one, just geez. a little a speck a decagram of cranberry <laughs> sauce a, a, drip, skosh. Drip, a skosh a skosh a little drip drip driplet i yeah. hate <laughs> sweet potatoes Woo-hoo, son. this man is banned from yeah, talking uh, over again whoa. i know that's He's a done. very hot take sweet potatoes <laughs> are so gross Ooh. what leave like this a place. dessert leave yeah. this place <laughs> Oh, not oh Matt. My not Matt. Shame, I'm gonna unalive shame. myself. I didn't say that. I said <laughs> leave this place. I this said exit called stage existence. <laughs> oh my god! Unalive. Oh my gosh! Oh uh, wait, well. I know earlier. Sorry, let me just mention something before we wrap up. I know earlier we meant you had mentioned Super Mario Bros, but my oh, yeah. shit was messing up, so I didn't really get a chance to, <laughs> to partake in that conversation. I just want to say that. I'm, I'm very excited for that. Dude, it oh, looks, yeah. it looks I think it's going to be so like, good. Like, visually, I was surprised Donkey Kong was in it. I was not expecting Bro, I we all, Donkey Seth Kong, Rogen. but dude, Seth he's Rogen. voicing Donkey Kong? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So we got Seth, we got Chris, Chris Pratt as a hey, Mario. easy on my boy. I said Chris Pratt. I said Chris Pratt. Hey, well, I was, yeah. 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 Did my mess up? I said Chris Pratt. Christopher, sure. Christopher, Pratt, Christopher Prattinson right. as yeah. a <laughs> as a Mario, 
as a it's a me Pratiper. a mario let's a go have, um, let's a go they said anna <laughs> taylor joy anna taylor Wahoo. joy is um peach, you call me? anna taylor joy is peach i didn't know that i was like what? the what? only good casting choices are are uh charlie day and and jack jack black. jack black oh my jack God. black is that's gonna everybody be else who's charlie day he's luigi, luigi. Wait, oh, he's totally de- I mean, that's he's perfect. Dead. That's perfect. That's perfect. I yeah, hope Mario yeah. and like Waluigi are in it at some point. I hope maybe they kind of do like a little two. universe thing, low key. That's like, what I heard. Bro, imagine that's if they build up to a Super Smash Bros thing. thing. I was gonna I say that's what they're hope they're Cloud is in for, it. What they might end up going for, and this is just speculation. Don't take this as 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 Bible. Don't take this as law. Um. I think they're gonna end up going for a whole share, like a universe, like a Nintendo they are, cinematic cause universe. Because it's twenty twenty two and IP what? runs the Thanks world. Thanks to Marvel. So, exactly. Thank you, Marvel. So, so of course that they're being, make it a universe. Imagine a Zelda said, movie though. With all with all that being said, we're gonna let that just be the end of the speculations. <laughs> we'll probably discuss that in a future episode. Um, but yeah, that basically wraps up everything that we wanted to talk about today. I would truly appreciate everybody tuning in for our second episode of this podcast. Um, show us how much you enjoyed our episode by leaving a five-star review on wherever you're listening to this on Apple Music, Spotify, Podcast, uh, not Podcast, what's it called? Uh, Amazon Music, so, Apple, oh, yeah. I already said that, Spotify. <laughs> wherever you're listening to this on YouTube, give us a uh, a like. LimeWire. LimeWire, we're, yeah. we're everywhere. And go ahead and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok at the Podtastic Four. On Twitter, the at is at the Podtastic Four with the number four. Everything else is the Podtastic Four spelled out. Um, share our pages, help us grow our community of Podvengers. Podvengers, that's you guys, the listeners, the watchers. <laughs> Did we um, agree? Is that the official name we're that's the naming, official name we're naming our for. three fans? The Podvengers. Love we it. have more than three fans. I know. I'm just being. I'm just I'm being hyperbolic. We're I'm just joking um but yeah we're trying to grow this community and make this into something really really special let's go ahead and make this a fun and welcoming place for all so with that being said thank you guys and see you next time on the podcastic four bye bye oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah if you get that you get that <laughs>